welcome to Embarrassing Confessions with Callie. I'm Callie and this is a new segment on my channel. Most of the things I'm going to share with you will be gruesome, gross, and hilariously cringeworthy and of course embarrassing. And I trust everything I'm going to tell you today remains confidential and will not leave this video. Who am I kidding? I know it's going to leave this video because people watch, people talk, people share. I really don't care. That's why I'm making this video. I'm making it because I'm an honest person, or at least I try to be, and I'm going to share my honest, embarrassing stories with you today. And without further delay, let's start this video. Well, we've already started the video. Let's start the stories. Second story, second incident was either fourth or fifth grade again, still unsure, nine or 10 years old, I'm gonna vote for everyone and say fifth grade, so 10 years old. This is when we lived a mile from where we live now. The street that we were on was a hill. Wasn't extreme, but did have quite a bit of incline. Of course, at that age, you wanna go down the hill as fast as possible. And I'm not speaking about all my feet. Not all my bare feet would I want to go down this hill. All my scooter. I'd want to go down this hill. Either everyone was at school or like busy because I was playing by myself and usually there was a lot of kids out. So for whatever reason, I'm by myself. I take my scooter and I put it down as low as possible. I'm in my bikini and in sandals. Now if I can advise anything for future references, do not go on a scooter in sandals even if you have pants on, don't go on a scooter in sandals and definitely don't ride a scooter in a bikini. I might as well just threw myself down the hill at this point. So, clearly you know where I'm going with this. I'm revving up the engine. This is a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm sure I didn't think that at all. I thought it was a brilliant idea. It was gonna be sick because I've done this a million times. Everyone on the street goes down the hill on their scooter really low. I'm going full speed. Kick off the ground and go. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, views. <laughs> so, probably a house, maybe a house or two past mine is when the ground completely flattened out. Right at my house, you're flying like full speed. Just before I get to my house, it's getting a little wobbly. So I'm like, I know this isn't gonna end well. Anything that starts wobbling at high speeds does not end well. Of course, I psyched myself out and didn't have the confidence to straighten this little sucker out. And here I go and just go flying. I just. Oh. At this point, I'm on the ground. I've rolled about 20 feet. <laughs> My scooter's in the road. No one witnesses this. Knees are scraped up. Road burn. My elbows, my hands again. My foot. I actually still have... Oh, it's this foot. I'm like, it's gone. I'm not gonna show you, because burp fetishing is one thing, but feet fetishes is just a little too much for me. I go inside. I look like a strawberry that was thrown against the ground <laughs> at full speed. <laughs> I'm not sure who was home at the time, but someone was, cleaned it up. And if you've ever got road burn, the initial fall isn't the worst. So once you clean those cuts and you put ointment on them, and then sit there for a while, then you get this excruciating, pulsating pain everywhere in my case. And you can't bend, because when you bend it, oh, it hurts so bad, oh my gosh. Busted up, scooter accident, never did that again. I probably went down the hill again, just not in sandals and in a bikini. So, you know, learn my lesson. It could have ended up worse. I could have busted my head. I could have been dead. So, that was that. <laughs> 